energy industry in Texas is as big an opportunity as it's ever been. So when I look at the Railroad Commission, I, I say, you know what, the people of the state still want affordable, reliable energy, and they want to know that it's developed responsibly. And so we play as prominent role today as we ever have. So looking out, you know, as we develop better sources for people to go and get data, better sources for reporting, uh, a more engaged railroad commission that's out and active in the community, so growing our staff, growing our technical expertise, all of those will help support our ability to keep the public informed, keep the public engaged, make information available, and to work with industry as they make advancements in technology and methodologies, changing rules. Uh, and I'm excited for our ability to support new regulation, new approaches, and to make sure that we play the role in energy that the state of Texas should. You know, the big thing that I worked on, not just this year, but in prior years, is really trying to bring a, a, a more broad market approach to how a railroad commissioner does our job. Uh, for the second time, we put out an energy outlook, energy market outlook, and that, as far as I know, is the first time a railroad commissioner has ever done that. Now, we did it the second year, and it's really neat to hear people from industry and around the state respond to it, and not just people in the energy industry, people in the automotive industry, people in real estate who say, look, our, our industries in Texas really get affected by oil and gas, so putting that information together in a concise way that people can use has been really cool, and, and it's neat to bring that engineering and, and economic background that I have into engaging with the public in a different way. So we're, we're dealing with good challenges. The challenges are how do we bring all of this new production and this new energy to a global market that's hungry for it. And I think as we look forward into 2019, sorry, 2020 and 2021, we can anticipate that all of this new infrastructure is going to pay dividends for a decade, maybe even a generation as we leverage this new energy portfolio to the market. Let's face it, the United States today is a net energy exporter or even a net, a net oil and gas and refined product exporter. So for the first time since the EIA began tracking it, the United States is exporting more oil and refined products than we are importing. That's a big deal and that just happened a month ago. So the fact that we are now exporting all this product to the world and playing an even more prominent role in energy today and will play a more prominent role as new pipelines and new export facilities are built, that, that's something I hope all Texans are aware of and are proud of.